Hey guys, Jake here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a frog, uh, frog tank setup that I have set up for three different frog species. They all cohabbed. Uh, one's a bit cheeky, so we've got dainty tree frogs, southern brown tree frogs, and your spotted marsh frogs, both in normal form and your albino form, or albino, however the heck you want to say it. But basically, let's go take a look straight at that now. So here's the tank. What we're going to do is we're going to open the glass door and take a closer look. Okay, so here it is. Now I'm not going to claim that it's anything spectacular. Um, it's basic, it does the job, it works really well for me. Um, it's been, as I said, about a week roughly since I set it up. And I've just pulled this Tilanthia out. Just going to wedge that back in. In fact, I might even get some aquarium glue and glue it in. Anyway, we've got some bromeliads. This one's starting to shoot a little pup. Another bromeliad back there, Tilanthia. Another type of Tilanthia, the old man's beard. You can see there's actually... A brown tree frog chilling back there. There's one of the dainties sitting there. Another dainty there. But this is the tank. Now it is home to about 10 southern brown tree frogs. There is one there. It is housed to three of your dainties. Also a couple of these guys. Spotted marsh frogs. Now, as you can see, they have been a little bit busy. The frogs have decided to ignore my crappy silicon job. This tank was originally leaking and I just siliconed the crap out of it. So ignore that, it looks gross. But this is some little albino tatties. You can see there are also some mixed ones in. So there are some normals that are either potentially going to be het for albino. So they carry the albino trait or that is going to be normals. But there is a whole, whole, whole heap of little albino tadpoles. Now we've got one of the normal spotted marsh frogs hanging back here, plus an albino. There's another little pool pit there where the waterfall, so it has a waterfall, it drips down, drips down, drips down, and actually ends up in this little pool back here where that little albino is back there. So the tank is set up very basically, again, some bromeliads, some tilanthias, the air plants, pythos, double ivy. Um, I forget what this is called, but that's some sort of plant there. There is also this one that the uh, dainty's on. Um, it's sometimes known as Wandering Dew. That's creeped up the back wall and will start to grow across. But heaps of pothos. Now this is a great plant. The brown tree frogs, the um, dainties, they can all sit on these. It holds their weight. And even the marsh frogs have been actually, I've seen them sitting up on there before. They tend to climb the back wall a lot. And they like that bit of sphagnum moss there because it's connected to the waterfall. There's a brown tree actually uh, hiding in there now because it holds a lot of that moisture. And look there, there's a brown tree and a spotted marsh frog having a bit of a squeeze. But yeah, look, super quick video, nothing too fancy. They have, it has two uh, globes, uh, LED globes, well, one LED and a 2% UVB. But the LED is just a uh, light from budding, 6.5 Kelvin, and it grows my plants really well. I have it on quite a lot of my terrariums. But, there is a whole bunch of tatties. I haven't taken them out. I've left some in there. I do actually have a separate little container set up with uh, some as well, just to see what's going to work best. But yeah, huge clump of uh, frogs. So clearly they're happy with the setup. As I said, it's been, about, oh, it's been a week since setup. And the frogs have kicked off, so very well. It's also connected to a misting system. So it's going to be a bit noisy, but that does spray. Oh, that little brown tree frog is obviously a bit hungry because it was... Because as it moves, they think it's food. In fact, let's just readjust that a teeny bit to go more towards the centre. There we go. Very well, that brings this video to an end. Well guys, I thank you very much for watching. There's the little bell space. I thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We've also just recently hit 3,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully a giveaway is in the works, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.